I am Dr. Delen de La Paz. I am a medical doctor teaching community medicine at the University of the Philippines College of Medicine. I'm also the chairperson of the Health Alliance for Democracy, an NGO, and the national coordinator in the Philippines of the People's Health Movement. Yes. Unfortunately, when we were hit by the pandemic last year, we already have a very poor health system. Our public health system is really not uh, in a good uh, situation because we are affected by neoliberal policies that have an impact on health. For example, our budgets have always been cut, so we have a low budget for health. Uh, precisely why the public health system is not improving and there really is a proliferation of the private health system because the public health system is not and responsible. Likewise, the social determinants of health has also not been uh, improved. So we have people living in congested urban poor communities so much so that when the COVID-19 pandemic set in and we know for a fact you need physical distancing, you need to wear masks, you need to have uh, proper hygiene with hand washing. Many of our communities who got locked down had no means of uh, supporting themselves. They couldn't have physical distancing because they were really living in cramped urban poor communities and they have no uh, access to masks because they didn't even have uh, income because many of them lost their jobs and the priority would be food. So we have been appealing to the government to provide all these necessities to the people, but the amelioration fund that was created to provide the support to the people has really been very small and very slow in being given to the people. The patent has to be waived at this time. We cannot afford the drugs if they will still be very expensive. And we have been advocating that governments should provide these uh, interventions to the people for free. And if governments say they don't have the resources and, and they will, because the cost is very expensive, then we really appeal to the World Trade Organization to support the campaign of the TRIPS waiver so that we do not have to pay so much for these drugs and they should only be uh, given at cost or in fact even lower because governments will really have to pay for this because given the lockdown, given the fact that many companies have closed, many factories have closed, many people have lost their jobs, they do not have the income, they do not have the means to pay for these drugs and vaccines. Therefore, uh, it will be government who will be paying for it. And government says they also, especially poor governments, they also don't have the money for it. And therefore, they will just have to make loans. Then, of course, these loans will also add up to the, to because of the interest, it will also add up to the cost. It will really make this uh, inaccessible and affordable to people. Mm -hmm. So patent uh, that is being uh, imposed here by TRIPS is something that we in the developing countries truly support. And I hope those in the developed countries will do likewise because we have to have all the people have ready access to this, not only those in rich countries. With regards to the pandemic, we appeal to the German government to support the call of governments of India and South Africa to WTO and its members to waive the TRIPS agreement because we believe the patents would really add a big cost to the um, cost of the vaccine as well as it doesn't provide the opportunity for countries with manufacturing capabilities to also develop the vaccine. There is a lack of vaccine production right now. So people in developing countries are really lagging behind. The first world countries were able to get the first uh, production, but you cannot have a, 
a response globally if only the developing countries are the ones, or the developed countries rather, are the ones with the vaccines. Everybody should have access to these vaccines at the same time to be able to uh, arrive at the herd immunity level that we want so that we will have an end to this pandemic. So uh, we know many countries have that also the capability for uh, manufacturing the vaccines and the medicine. So please support our call for a TRIPS waiver so that we will have more access to these uh, life-saving uh, and uh, supportive medicines to address the pandemic. The other issue I appeal to the German government for is to support our uh, call to our own Philippine government to be more comprehensive, humane, and participatory in its approach to COVID, as well as to all other illnesses, rather than the way they are approaching it now in a very militarist approach, very coercive, and um, very, uh, a lot of, they are uh, having a lot of human rights violations. So we also, uh, appeal to the German government to uh, raise the issue of stop human rights violations in the Philippines, stop the killings, because aside from having already this lockdown and other difficulties that we have, our Philippine government passed the anti-terror law in our country, and everybody else who are critical to the government are tagged as terrorists or as communists and therefore are terrorists and they just are arrested or even outrightly killed. So aside from the worst pandemic that we have, we also have a worsening human rights violation situation where a lot of activists are being killed.